uh, Rhode Island Urban Search and Rescue team was started in uh, 2004. A number of members of uh, various fire departments in the state, uh, as well as state instructors and members of the uh, federal team out of Massachusetts, and brainstormed basically what they needed for a team to respond to a situation in Rhode Island, you know, building collapse, hurricane. Looked for participants from the various fire departments and police agencies and uh, canine and came up with the plan to put a, a team together similar to the uh, federal response teams that are out there but tailored to the needs of Rhode Island. They've had a number of deployments in Rhode Island, Hurricane Sandy, um, they did uh, Hurricane uh, Irene, done a, a couple of deployments. A couple of winters ago we had some uh, building collapses in the northern part of the state due to the weight of the structures from the snow and the rain. The floods in 2010, the team was pretty active during the floods. And we have people behind the scenes, you people that are doing your planning. Nice to help out. That's, that's why we're doing it. It's nice to help out and we're there when people need assistance. The most important thing you need to have coming in um, to this organization is first of all is to have the right attitude. Attitude is the most important thing um, and that is an attitude to give of your time to serve. My connection with, with uh, seeing what Red Cross does would be um, following our mission in uh, Hancock County, Mississippi, following Hurricane Katrina. We saw what Red Cross really does on a grand scale at that incident because, you know, they were going over and above um, what they would probably normally do as far as providing the assets that they needed. Not only did they assist the people there, um, which was their, their primary mission, um, they did a lot to support our needs. If, you know, if we needed, if we ran short of water or something like that, to really see what they do would be what we witnessed in Mississippi. The people that you don't see and, and what they do on a day-to-day -day basis over here, the time, the effort, the energy, the dedication, um, you know, they're, they're the people that are getting no award.